Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just finding me for the first time, welcome. <laughs> my name is Joe De La Rosa. I was one of the original cast members on Bravo's Real Housewives of Orange County, and now I am here in this crazy YouTube world where I talk fashion and beauty on this channel. I do a little day in my life doing vlogs. I just recently started a series called A Little Cup of Joe where we just talk life. This week I'm actually going to be going through something that I feel I've just had a lot of experience in, which is dating and failing and dating again. We are talking dating app tips and dating in COVID. If you are single or you just got online and you're trying this whole dating app thing world and you're figuring it out like I was, stay tuned and I jump right into all of this. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you may or may not have seen that I recently posted a picture of my new boyfriend and I, Taryn. I'm gonna jump into that story. But first, I just wanted to go through some of the things that have worked for me in terms of actually dating and meeting guys through dating apps. I've used a lot of the apps and I did a lot of dating prior to meeting him and obviously prior to COVID. I was such a busy girl. I didn't have time to meet a million people and do a million drinks and get ready and do lashes and pay for parking. And this is what worked for me in terms of being able to speed all that up and sift through all the noise in a dating app. Tip number one that worked for me, use the dating app and take it in graduation stages before you actually let him meet you. I would start by just talking to somebody. On Hinge, you do a little heart. You heart someone, you can basically, they have to like you back. This opens up a conversation. It was really important that they took the time to ask me questions about myself. Are they wanting to get to know me? Do they ask me something about my family or what I'm doing? Some of these guys, like within the first two lines, they're asking you, for your phone number or to meet. That was way too fast and personally a red flag that they weren't really looking for something serious. They were just looking to like sift through girls. I was looking for somebody that would really take the time to like talk to me for a couple of days, ask me meaningful questions that I felt like, okay, this person really wants to get to know me. But at that point they graduate to phase two, the phone call. I'm still not ready to meet you in person because I don't know if you can hold a conversation and keep my interest because I lose interest very quick and my ADD brain just needs substance and needs stimulation and I just need to know that like you have something to say other than just a pretty face. If they could actually keep the conversation going and I felt like we could really hit it off on the phone, that was usually a pretty good sign for me. I had experiences where they were super cute in their picture and then I would get them on the phone and it was literally like crickets, you guys. It was just nice to be able to get a sense of their personality before I committed to like getting ready and doing the whole dinner thing because then you're stuck sitting at dinner with a meal and if it's an uncomfortable conversation, it's really hard to get out of it when you've like, when you're already there and you've ordered appetizers and cocktails, just super awkward. <laughs> Once they can keep my attention going back and forth, having a conversation over messages, and then we have a phone call and that's good, at that point I would finally commit to doing dinner. The tip number two that's always worked for me with dating apps is trust your gut and if you are getting annoyed just scrolling through his profile pictures, move on to the next person. Everybody has pet peeves when it comes to profiles, right? The thing that really drove me nuts was profile pictures. If every single picture of him where he has so many where he's wearing sunglasses and like I can't see your pretty eyes, that drives me a little bit nuts. If he is in a picture with all of his boys and I can't tell which one of those is him and I have to work really hard to try and figure it out, that's also super annoying. If they have more than like one or two gym pictures of them like working out or their muscles or whatever, personally, I'm not super fitness girl and I don't work out every day. And so that to me is already like, we probably have different core values because clearly you love being at the gym a lot. And I just don't. Figure out what works for you, trust your gut, and if the profile's looking a little bit like it's not feeling right, move on to the next. My third and last tip when it comes to dating apps is 
pay attention to see if he pursues you or if you're the one doing all of the pursuing. Now listen, I get it's 2020 and I think women should be strong and go after what they want and I am all for that, trust me. When I see something, I want it, I go after it. You can ask the new boyfriend, Taryn. I'm actually the one that reached out first because I saw him, I thought he was beautiful and then after that initial conversation, I really felt pursued by him. He was constantly reaching out to me, checking up on me, seeing how my day was, and I felt courted. Okay, like he's interested, this is great. And I didn't feel like I was always doing the one chasing because I had done that in the past when I saw somebody who was cute and maybe I wasn't getting as quick of a response as I wanted or something. I felt like, oh, this is a game, this is a challenge. That's not at all what it is, you guys. Now that we've gone through my quick three tips on dating apps, I just wanted to kind of share with you a little bit of my personal story and how my new boyfriend and I, Taryn, started dating in the middle of COVID. When I saw his profile, he was very clear about not wanting to meet anybody because we were in COVID. I knew going into it, it probably wasn't gonna work out. This was just gonna be really hard and we'd never get a chance to meet. And so I was like, perfect, because I'm too busy right now. I'm not looking for a boyfriend and this is awesome. I could just like flirt and do my thing. I mean, I was actively pursuing and wanted to meet somebody, but with him specifically, because he was so strict about not wanting to meet anybody because we were in COVID, I really didn't think anything was gonna happen. It started with us talking back and forth and we spent a lot of time doing that at first. Then it moved to phone conversations, a lot of phone conversations. Then from there, it moved to video. And once the video kicked in and I saw that cute face, I was pretty much done. But this is really different. I personally had never like met somebody on FaceTime before meeting them in person. I always felt like the very first time you ever see somebody, that moment when you walk into the room and you see someone from across the room and your heart drops, right? And you meet eyes for the first time. I, I don't know, I just had this theory, like you never get back that moment, right? So I always was like, I don't wanna FaceTime until after we have a first date. Given that we were in COVID, I obviously made an exception. We started with a FaceTime date and he was so cute, you guys. Basically, we just started talking every day over FaceTime. We fell in love over a screen and never having met and we spent the first three months just talking and building a really incredible friendship. I'd never taken three entire months to get to know somebody before ever having met, so I think that's why the very first time we met it was so different. But before we jump into that, how we made dating in COVID work. We spent a lot of time doing Zoom dates. We would watch movies together over Zoom because you can do the little screen share on that. We would have dinner over Zoom. We would, you know, download a book and we would read. We would have game nights over Zoom. We would just start finding activities that we really enjoyed together. Dating in COVID is wild. But that's how we did it, you guys. It wasn't until probably month two where we were like, okay, we're both falling in love. He really fell in love first, but don't tell him I said that. Three months later, we were finally ready, and then we decided to take a test. We were both negative, obviously, and then we met for the first time. You guys, the buildup, I was terrified that we were gonna like open the door and change our minds or something, like once we saw each other in person. Luckily, we didn't. Moral of the story is, you can find love in COVID, so have hope. It is out there. Um, sometimes it comes to you, I hate when people say this, but it's true. Sometimes it comes to you when you least expect it and you're not looking. I know we're going through a crazy time, you guys, but you can find love and you can date in a pandemic safely. If you guys are a little bit nervous to like get out there, especially with the state of the world and meet people. This is literally how we dated in COVID. This worked for us. I know that being the incredibly picky girl that I am, if I could sift through all the noise online and find somebody really special, which I have, 
I know that you guys can find it too. These are my dating app tips and best practices on how to sift through all the noise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know every time that I post a new video. Happy dating, be safe, mask up. I'll see you guys next week with another video. That's all I got for you guys. So I will see you next week. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> why can't I do an outro?